Hello friends, <laughs> I'm back. I'm sorry for disappearing like that on you. Um, I had some health issues earlier in the year, which put a great stop on a lot of things for me. <laughs> but um, let's hope that I'm back for good. It's summer now, well, almost the end of summer, and I did finish a sketchbook. It's it's a bit chunky, not as chunky as other, uh, as other sketchbooks. Also, this uh, video is not with a like, pre-recorded voiceover, so I will be improvising. You will get to hear me fumbling and mumbling with my words. But anyway, <laughs> sketchbook flip-through video. Um, this is a Leuchtturm uh, sketchbook that I started in... Uh, let's see... 3rd of January 2022 and I finished it like yesterday, <laughs> uh, two years later. Um, this sketch will be mostly my OCs as expected, um, mostly things can related to a um, campaign I started DMing at the time of the start of the sketchbook, so it will mostly be characters. Um, so yeah, um, Eloise, you already saw her before on another uh, another video, so you should be familiar with her. That was my starter, starter girl. <laughs> uh, of course, Marwin. I don't think I've shown Marwin in the video yet. No, I gotta fix that. Well, it's Marwin. He's always there. He is uh, my um, first D and D character for the first campaign I ever participated. He's a little sea bean Bart, <laughs> pirate Bart. There's so many words. Anyway, love him a lot. You will see him more here. <laughs> Uh, then we have some more Eloise. I colored this one with um, coffee. <laughs> I read somewhere that you can uh, like color with coffee. I really like the idea, so of course I had to try it as someone who greatly enjoys coffee. I mean, my name somewhere is Coffee Bean after all, so... <laughs> uh, I was also testing some kind of golden things here. Uh -huh. Uh, here we have uh, Ellie, she's a character of a friend of mine uh, from a campaign I started DMing. Um, it was a moment where she found a cute little birdie and she snuggled it a little bit. It was a really cute moment. Um, I drew her looking way younger than she is. <laughs> I mean, she's a child, but also I know my style tends to make characters look younger than they should be, but there's that. Um, testing watercolors and things here. Oh, this one is shimmery. Uh, Zerdal, that was an NPC, <laughs> English shout attack. Uh, NPC I designed for, um, again, for my campaign. Uh, he's an old OC, I just revamped him a little bit for here. Well, not, not exactly super revamped, more like got a little glow up since it's a character I haven't drawn in since forever. <laughs> Uh, my campaign, of course, homebrew and everything, uh, takes place in my own fictional world that I made way back when I was a teenager, so the whole, the whole campaign was such a trip in my childhood and redrawing a lot of old characters and OC and giving them new, new life, new spark, that was, that was a lot of fun. But yeah, that's Zerdo, looks at Juliana's, he's, um... Inquirer? Exorcist? Exorcist, yeah. So he's all about fighting them demons, am I right? Uh, yeah, that, that's him again. He, well, <laughs> he doesn't have wings here, but long ago he used to have wings and used to dress in, in like, white clothes because he was young and he doesn't really look all that different here. <laughs> <laughs> he loses his wings uh, in a big battle long ago and he gets bitter and he doesn't look all that different. He's still a very shouty, angry bean. <laughs> but he's all about the house of Julianos and la la. I think I got the name How Julianos from um, a romancing saga game I was playing at the time and there was this character Urpina who was shouting about her house which was some similar name not exactly Julianos but I kept misreading it like that so I was like you know what that's a cool house name I'm gonna use that yoink so I got that <laughs> that's also drawn with pencils yeah color pencils I'm not really good at color pencils don't judge they're just my hands are not good for color pencils I'm very light handed I cannot do the pencil thing. <laughs> uh, more Zerdo. Yeah, I drew that guy a lot here, huh? 
Uh, that one is done with uh, Posca pens. These, uh, these are watercolors. Zap, zap. Uh, I should be using more Posca pens. Posca pens are a lot of fun. And we got uh, Shadish, another character from uh, my campaign. She is um, like this helper NPC. She's more like uh, the NPC who is going to fix things in case the players do something extremely terrible. <laughs> so she has these time travel mechanics to her, uh, but also I try to keep her as uninvolved as possible, but I do really much enjoy drawing her. Uh, of course, turns out she was this little child goddess thing in the whole war of things, but again, because she's she got this godly status, I don't want to have her involved being like too much into the spotlight, you know? After all, the campaign is for the players, it's not for my NPCs. <laughs> Uh, and that's uh, the the big bad evil guy of the of my campaign, the Amber King. Um, well, without many spoilers, he got locked somewhere. He didn't like that and made that everyone else's problem. <laughs> I think his design was inspired by uh, again from Romancing Saga. There's this character Wagnus who is um, very butterfly themed, so I was like, hmm, butterflies, all right, I, can, I could use that, I could use the butterfly thing. <laughs> uh, okay, another character from the campaign that was, uh, that's, that's, uh, uh, I should have done better work with that camera. Well, that's Cassius. Um, when the players reached one certain um, city, there was like a, this whole defense mechanism with these little... Uh, eyeballs, little beholders, and turns out they are part of him, and he is the city's defense mechanism. It was, it was cool. It was cool thing, but also because he is the defense mechanism, that poor guy never sleeps. See, see, he's he, he could use a break. See, they're my bags. <laughs> uh, this one, uh, this one is drawn with watercolors as well. Sometimes. Um, I got more shadows here. She's such a cute little bean. Super love her. And this is Marat, who is basically her equivalent, just the opposite, like who the dark side. <laughs> Marat is another super old. These are super old character. Like these are like teenage years. I'm just redrawing them for the campaign because I'm fishing them out and assigning roles. And by the way, this is like. Gleaming, glittering. Oh, see that effect? So cool. <laughs> I need to use these paints more. There is so much. Oh, I should be using more watercolors here. Why am I not using watercolors? That's an okay paper for watercolors. Um. Okay, so <laughs> uh, testing some some Posca pens and watercolors. But uh, so my players did take a little detour from what I originally planned. Isn't that how it always happens? Uh, so they went in another city than I planned, and I had to come up with a temporary antagonist for whatever they were going to do there. So I had to dig out another old OC and. Um, Originally, when I designed him for the first time, he wasn't a bad guy or anything, but this time I was like, you know what? Congratulations, you're gonna be a villain. <laughs> so I had to try to get more into the character's headspace. So I was like, hmm, what would be his motivations and stuff? Um, also, a cute little bean. This is another character, uh, again, from that campaign. She was just a child NPC. They... They super love her, like they wanted to adopt her. <laughs> Jew, super adorable, cute little one. Um, anyway, we got more Louise. Um, I think you already saw that. I, I believe I showed it when I was uh, about to draw a Louise in some other video, I believe. This one, uh, again, her drawn with uh, Posca pens, because I happen to have her exact three colors. <laughs> She's not that difficult to color. <laughs> Uh, we got more Cassius. You know, he could he could use more um what you call he could use more coffee. <laughs> A lot of coffee. Uh testing some pasta watercolors. Uh, and Louise and uh, this little butterfly fellow. It's not a butterfly, it's a fae. Um this is a character from the campaign Eloise was part of. Um Unfortunately, that campaign is on haters, so I don't know when uh, that one will resume, but at one point she got shrunk, 
as big as her fey friend. And she was so excited that she could actually hug her friend. <laughs> it was a cute little moment. I had to draw it again. These are white watercolors. Uh, that's Eloise again. Uh, I keep drawing her with a dress. I thought, hmm, I mean, she's going to be rocking some nice long pants. And she does. She's pretty. She's a pretty cool gal. Look at her. Uh, and uh, of course, there is Marwin. You, you won't see a sketchbook without Marwin. Um, this is. Uh, these are water-based markers, from what I can tell. I think these are exactly these ones. Koi water card. They're really nice. Of course, uh, water, water-based markers are streaky, so. Try as, you as, as much as you try, you will get streaks around. Um, the background was watercolor, so just me experimenting, just slap colors, be like, good enough. <laughs> uh, more Marwin, because of course, there's like little dragon drawn with Posca pens. Scribble, scribble. And this is Fina, she will be and eventually when I make a proper story for Marwen. I super love her colors. They're just she's so sweet, so soft. Uh, however, I don't know if I'm super pleased with her design. I feel like the ears are a little extra, so I don't know, maybe I'll make them smaller, maybe I'll remove them, which sounds a little bad, but uh, I, I need to think about it. Super love her design, super love her gradient hair. Uh, love her colors. I just I feel a little unsure about the ears. Uh, there's her again, and again me with the ears. I'm not not super sure about the ears. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> this is future me problems. Current me is just showing you my sketchbook <laughs> and some random plants, flower things I have found at some point and decided that's gonna look good here. Slap it up. Uh huh. And that's uh, again uh, the bad guy, Alunas. I never mentioned his name. Where, where you, where did you go? Where did you first show your? Ah, that guy, right there. Now you can see him in full color. Originally, that character had red hair. Like when I designed him long, long ago, when I was a wee little teenager, Danny. Um, however, I already had, you know, that guy with red hair. So I thought. Too many characters with red hair together might be a little weird. You know what? Pink is like red, like <laughs> just a very light red, right? Right? So, long story short, he got pink hair. <laughs> and then I realized, man, he looks a lot like Apollo from Saga too. Um, hmm. Maybe I can toy a little bit with that idea and have him want to. Well, not exactly a sent to godhood, but a struggle with, like, uh, power, something like that. He didn't explode. Uh, actually, one of my uh, my campaign's party members exploded him, so at least he didn't explode like Apollo from Saga. <laughs> uh, his, his face looks so wonky here. I do, I do like this one, though. Uh, and more NPCs that I was uh, preparing for eventually my players reaching another city, however, that campaign got to a halt and I don't know if it will be continued ever. <laughs> But I did design a couple of extra beans for another location. Uh, again, this is old character got revamped and I was like, you know what, you're old enough to have a wife and a kid. <laughs> So now he has a wife and a kid. Um, the kid, the, this, uh, the child, well, he's not really a child, he's grown up by now. Um, he was inspired by uh, what was it? the uh, dragon from Triangle Strategy, I believe. I was just finishing dra Triangle Strategy and because this city where the party was going to be was a uh, mine city and had to deal with certain elements that reminded me of the things that I saw in Triangle Strategies. I was always, like grabbing inspiration. I was like, you know what? I'm, I could use the hairstyle Dragon had. <laughs> let, let me use that. And he's supposed to be like this kind of genius kind of character all about uh, machinery and stuff. So I was so looking forward to that part. But for now, he's just going to be an NPC staying in that area if I ever pick jamming again and if my party ever goes to that area. Yeah, um, we got the Amber King again. Uh, this was colored with uh, 
Ecoline water water based marker, I believe. These ones. They're really nice. I got them. Um, I got a set of them of like sepia colors. They're really nice. However, again, they're streaky. Also, because they're water based, they might um, assault the paper a lot. But yeah, it was, it was nice. Also, a bit of pencils, blue pencils for the hair here and there, from where I can tell. Uh, we got more shadows with her book, with her magic book during another page because story ends. <laughs> she had this whole thing with her where um, if a story gets to a bad ending, she just cuts the page and reverts time. That was her whole gimmick thing. Um, and I do use her as a poster girl for my campaign, kind of like being the title screen <laughs> character. <laughs> I, do, I do enjoy her a lot. She, she's a good bean. Um, mm, more shadows here, even though that, that page bled through. So, And another one, this one is like um, Shimari. That's Shimari watercolors. I really like this one. It, it's nice. Nice little illustration. Uh, we got more Fina here. Uh, this one was, uh, I think I got these acrylic um, acrylic pen brushes, uh, but only three colors, so I only got her colors. But they're, they're pretty nice, they're pretty solid. I don't know where to use them, but they're, they're nice. Um, more Marwin this time with the uh, baby Misty. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to say he's dragon, <laughs> maybe one day they will be friends, for now they're not. But hey, let's let's think about the future. <laughs> um, okay, this one was doodled. It works. So I kind of liked it, grabbed it, stick it. That's how I deal with bleed through pages. <laughs> uh, this is Marwin's mom, who I keep redrawing, redesigning. So you will probably see her with completely different clothes further on. <laughs> um, I'm. I cannot decide on what her clothes should be, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, Eru! Okay, he looks very baby here. Um, this is when I started thinking about um, the snake, the firebrand and the king of all. Uh, and I was thinking, hey, I could use Eru there, but Eru is such a baby, let me make him more more serious. <laughs> so yeah, sorry, he looks very baby here. He's not not that baby. Maybe he's super young here. Yeah, that, that, that that's totally it. Uh, and here is when I started designing our uh, Snarek, as everyone likes calling him. Uh, Bala, Balan Silang, as far as I remember, that was his full name. Uh, however, here he, it's like the very first drafting designs, like trying to get the shape of a few of him. And these are like his, again, very Hansi Osneric. These are his very first designs. I was basically, yeah, designing on shapes, colors. I wanted him to have this little thing that looks like horns. <laughs> Later I added the hair bun. Um, so yeah, this is the Snarek 1.0. For those people who follow my comic on Tumblr, the snake, the firebrand and the king of all. Yes, this is uh, our our bean, our our snelic, snelic cleric, and how he used to look like. Uh, here's more of him. This is more like how he's seen in the comic now. And there's our zoom. These were drawn at work, so I just put them here because that's how I deal with bleed through. Um, this bean Haru. Um, I designed this uh, knight character for possibly be part of Marwin's potential story one day. Not completely sure where and how to use him. I believe he will, his colors, like uh, a white cape, whitish hair and red clothes, I uh, believe they were inspired by Susantos from Octopath Traveler. I never really went too far into that game, the mobile version. <laughs> But I really enjoyed his design, like his color combination, so I was like, you know what, yoink. <laughs> uh, I'll see what I'll do with this with this character, am I going to change? He's supposed to be a dragon, like that whole thing in the world is dragons are like darker skin and like... I don't know, I, I need to I need to think talk about that. It's, it's still work in progress in my brain, so <laughs> there's that. 
Uh, okay, I didn't draw this, it's just chocolate. <laughs> um, that's basically how their dynamic should be with uh, if if I include Haro in Marwen's story. Kind of kind of cool, I like the blues. There is a like, uh, markers and pencils from what I can tell. Um, the idea was Haru is part of some guards who are um, tracking Marwin because he's a pirate and eventually I know the whole party was supposed to go into the dragon land so they would resolve family issues that he has but again I don't have like pre precise details on how that story will go so it's just me tossing ideas and <laughs> tossing things okay we have Marwin's father Desmart who also gets constantly drawn differently. Um, so you might see him again and he will probably have completely different clothes and hairstyle. But, uh, his father is a uh, fake, not a small one. Um, and he's, he's a trickster type, uh, fun character. Um, also, um, grabby, grabby hands. He can mug you. Uh, we have, um, we have uh, Marwin's mother, again, like I said, <laughs> it looks completely different. <laughs> Although I really like that, uh, these, these clothes, so maybe, maybe actually I will be like, you know what, this is the thing, and just kind of be sure that I stick to it, but who knows, knowing myself, I will forget and draw her again completely different. But this is future me problems, current me is just showing sketchbook. Um... I think... Oh, this this is around Christmas. Uh, so this is a character from um, my other comic from Furia that I have not updated in ages. Probably not sure when I'll go back to it. He was supposed to be a main antagonist in like maybe two arcs from the current one. I super enjoyed the, the story surrounding him. He's a very Christmassy character. <laughs> Maybe one day, one day when I have energy, I know that's like such a myth, uh, maybe I will resume Funfiria, maybe we will meet this character and his Christmas shenanigans, maybe you'll get to know him, who knows, for now he just exists on a Christmassy throne, he's here to steal your Christmas, maybe, who knows. Alright, so uh, this is when I started playing Sunhaven, and that's uh, my farmer character. Uh, her name is Aralyn, and I completely messed her sleeve. It's supposed to be light, it's not supposed to be teal color. Uh, she's an angel race character, so she has this leafy halo that glows. You cannot tell if it glows here, because sketchbook, but mm. also drawn with uh, markers. Super enjoy her. I drew her a lot digitally. I know on Tumblr a lot of people uh, saw my Hanson <laughs> Haven comics and super enjoy her design, maybe more than me even. <laughs> uh, here is, uh, there's her again, Arlen. Um, this is like more of a fighting pose. Uh, she is a battle angel. She does not hesitate leaping into a fight. And because she has these whole healing powers or whatever, she does not really think through before she leaps into danger and into fighting <laughs> because she will heal she's fine um did enjoy the hollow here it's super cute but yeah again drawn with markers um uh this is again arlen and claude who was the love interest that i picked for her in that game they're so cute together i drew them so much all the shipyards y'all also chocolate because same-ish colors that's the whole reason <laughs> uh a more scribbles of uh Ireland and claw just little shippy thingy this these are water-based markers from what i can tell that's why they're streaky <laughs> Uh, and we got more alunas. Uh, I think this was after he got defeated by my party. Um, uh, it was kind of sad because there was this character, Yulin, who had a giant crush on him, another NPC of mine, though. And that was kind of a background kind of thing. I don't know if the players ever realized that. So I, was, I felt really bad that he got destroyed. <laughs> the poor guy got killed. <laughs> Uh, so I wanted like to draw a little uh, what if happy end where they kind of go together. 
Uh, and he, Mr. Charming. Uh, but yeah, don't, don't worry, Alunos. We'll fix you somehow. I, I still have the the time travel magic bean powers. Where is Shad? Is where is? Ah, see, see, we'll fix you. She got the powers to time travel. It's fine. I promise. And that doesn't put the time frame on my promise. Anyway. <laughs> Um, we got to Recifer here. I know some people uh, remember when I designed him on Tumblr. Like, it was one part of my challenge of uh, create a new OC every day kind of thing. And I, um, I think he was the best one and people did enjoy him the most. Um, these ones were drawn... Um, like I got these really cool brush pens. Uh, I think that they're just meant for writing, but uh, lately I've been using them for line art. This, this was drawn without any pencil line work. It was just one of those grab pencil and draw right away. Um, so that was a lot of fun. I was trying to get to like his design, his personality, stuff like that. Uh, also, a friend of mine started a um, campaign using the break system, and I designed Recifer there, so... He has slightly different design there, and that's how he looks in the uh, in the break campaign. Um, he has a darker skin, and he's a race called Tenebre. Tenebre, ah, I might be pronouncing that wrong, but anyway, he is a mage. He's a very squishy mage, <laughs> um, and uh, this was drawn with um, gouache. I'm not good with gouache. I wish I was, but I do not have the patience for gouache because. I I like me line art. <laughs> Otherwise, he was drawn with um, with markers and just the background is gouache. But but it's not the gouache is nice for like bushes. That that's about all I can do with gouache. I I know I need to practice more, but eh, I like my line art. <laughs> Uh, we got more Arzu from my comic, um, the snake, the firebrand and the king of old. She's in a very pretty dress. Again, I tried with gouache and I felt miserably. How the hell do you detail things with gouache? It's difficult, but I tried my best. That was my best. I don't want to try it ever again. Okay, maybe I'll try again, but still it was difficult. You people who use gouache, you're friggin' wizards. I'm not like you. I'm I'm weak. I'm not strong enough. My bloodline's gonna die in the winter. <laughs> uh, okay, more more Snerik, more Arzu, and uh, again Snerik, but this one like he looks more regal, more like uh, post story kind of way, I guess. <laughs> like after after he settles and the adventure is over, maybe. But I super enjoy how his hair turned out. It was it was super fun drawing him, like super zone out, which is line art, draw with with the markers. Uh, we got more recifer here and bunch of face. I try to do background things, y'all. <laughs> you know how I'm I don't get along with background, but I try my best. Uh, this is the break version of Recifer again, he looks way too pale for the break version, but he was supposed to be raised by Faye, uh, so I wanted to draw like a little moment where he was home with his Faye family, and uh, he has a bookworm, he enjoys the books. <laughs> again, Recifer, uh, he's like with his break clothes, but looking way too pale. <laughs> I think I was like, hey, I kind of like the pale version because uh, like his eyes stand out, but then I went back to maybe darker skin is more lore appropriate. I don't know, I kept switching back and forth. Anyhow, see, uh, I drew this with um, this kind of... what brand is that? Uh, Koinor uh, pastel pens, uh, pencils. So, uh, I, I'm i not good with pastel pencils, I tried them before and I did miserably, but that was super long ago, so this time I was super sure I will try my best, my best, this is my best, and the things I found out is, uh, well, they smudge a lot, like my, my, my poor hands were extremely dirty all the time. I did fix this with, with hairspray, so it's no longer 
um, making anything dirty, but man, they're messy. I am not strong enough. I, I know they require a certain paper, and that paper maybe was not that good for uh, pastel pencils, but it is what it is. The end result was okay, different, but okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, so um, I was tasked with um, designing a one-shot in again in my uh, fantasy world uh, one-shot campaign, and they the player who wanted that one shot picked a desert area. So I had to unroot some again super old OCs and trying to breathe new fresh air into them. So we got this character and um, redesigning him and like figuring out his lore suddenly sparked something big in my head, like this whole conflict that was in with this character in this area in my world like 15 years ago suddenly got resolved. It's like wow. <laughs> so I had massive nostalgia trip uh, coloring Lord Fabrian. He's a, uh, he's a race called Sartelli. Um, I Maybe I shouldn't be super speaking about that in case I want to make this one shot into a proper long campaign so that will be a bit of a spoiler. So okay, I will, I'll be just showing him without context. <laughs> um, so he's a lord. There is a reason why he's so dang pale. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. He will live, I promise. Um, another character from the desert area, his name is Nazaz. Um, he's, uh, uh, his race is uh, Firseti. And they're, they're, they're like uh, brother races. Like They're like the same species, but just these types are like snow-based and they sort of like fire-based kind of thing. Um, I super enjoy the tail. Look at that, that, that cool tail. Man, I wish I had a tail. That would be cool. I would be like swoosh swoosh. Um, I don't know context. I don't know what happened here. He's just crying from happiness. I don't know. Stuff happened. Anyhow, look at that background, y'all. I'm doing the thing. I'm doing the background. I'm so proud. <laughs> These are all super recent because I, like I said, I suddenly exploded with this um, inspiration about the desert folk and started drawing so many scenes with the characters. Uh, which have context in my head, but I cannot tell the context because certain players might come across and if I'm making that into a campaign potentially, they'll be like, I know your secrets, Danny. Even though they're probably super predictable. Anyhow, this. <laughs> Uh, super enjoyed this one. I really enjoy how it turned out uh, made with alcohol markers, uh, some pencils here and there. Again, our Lord Wardling uh, enjoying a stroll among his people. Everyone loves him. There's like, there's background. See, see this? It's like something unlocked in my head and suddenly I was like, backgrounds. I am going to do the background thing. So, yeah, backgrounds. I don't know how long that's going to last, but the last couple of pics have all been behold the backgrounds. More of my desert characters just enjoying some kind of fruit. More backgrounds. I think I ran out of blue here. Uh, yeah, super, super enjoying these beans. Cool beans. Uh, this guy's name is Kardam. This one's name is Naji. Um, Again, we have our our uh, lord just enjoying a view uh, across his city, and he lived happily ever after. Right, right, wrong. He got dragged into adventures. <laughs> um, no reason. I just kind of thought it would be funny if I draw them like that. It, it's, I like these kind of situations. Just <laughs> what's going on here? I don't know. But they're they're hanging there. See, hanging like a joke. <laughs> okay, don't boo me. And that's uh, that's my last page. I finished with Eloise. I did not color her. I think I was like tired at that point, and I was just, you know what? I don't know what I'm. I don't want to color. <laughs> but we started with Eloise, so it felt proper that we end with Eloise. Maybe I'll go back. Maybe I'll color her. But. Um, Yes, uh, this is a uh, Leuchtturm uh, sketchbook that took me two years. I don't know if I should even call it sketchbook, considering uh, some of these are like... 
you know, so well shaded and everything. <laughs> it's, it almost feels more like an art book. Um, but to me, uh, sketchbooks are kind of precious because I, when I, when I was little, I used to draw on uh, like just print, plain print paper. So. I didn't have any sketchbooks and now that I'm all grown up and I can afford things I got like a little bit like hungry monsters on sketchbooks <laughs> and so yeah I greatly greatly enjoyed this one um, the paper felt nice for all the mediums I used um, surprisingly maybe it was good for markers however it there was occasions where it will bleed out of the expected area, so expect the... No, it wasn't bleeding, it was blooming, yeah. It, it blooms on this paper, so it's not as controlled as I wish it was. I don't know, I don't think the camera can pick that. It's not like you're supposed to be hyper-precise in your sketchbook, so it didn't really bother me. Again, it's sketchbook, I... I throw ideas here and just kind of draw them without any expectations of how it's going to turn out. I am very spontaneous with my uh, art supplies. I literally pick whatever I have near me and start drawing. This one is with like one kind of pencil, other things are line arted with other kind of pencils. Whatever the mood strikes, I grab, I do. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm happy I got to finish this one. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little sketchbook flip through, even though, like I said, all of these characters are um, OCs with so much lore and story behind them that uh, I'm afraid it might be a little boring talking about them because without context it's a little, a little weird. I did try to add context as much as I could. Um, but what am I going to start next? Uh, I got another Leuchtturm sketchbook. Um, this one is very berry colored. Um, However, since I finished this one, I'm not sure if I want to leap into another Leuchtturm sketchbook. Uh, maybe I kind of want a different kind of paper, I don't know. But, however, I also got one of these bad boys. Um, I never had Moleskine sketchbook and I know they're like this fable, the best shit ever. Oh wait, wait, did I say a bad word? I need to or that. I don't know how YouTube works. Anyway, <laughs> this is one of these bad boys that everyone and their grandma talks about and they're like, this is the best thing in the world, hands down or something like that. So, um, maybe I will try it. <laughs> um, and it looks like it has less pages, so it might be um, easier to go through. I haven't decided, but I am leaning towards the Moleskin. Um, Sketchbook. I do also have a bunch of sketchbooks that are not finished, but they are more thematic, like watercolor ones or ones with mostly Marwin, because I draw unhealthy amounts of Marwin. You will see one day. I'm a little afraid of that day. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, again, thank you so much for joining me in this little sketchbook flip through. I hope you had fun and I will see you guys in the next video hopefully. Until then, stay creative, keep drawing and have a great rest of your day or week or year or life. Wait, that got too extended. Anyway, bye-bye!